All right, and welcome, welcome everybody to this uh, video of Make Microsoft Make Code for Microbit uh, here in Seattle. My name is Pelly. I work for the Make Code team at Microsoft, and with me today we have Zilly. Zilly, and so this is going to be a kindergartner special because our our usual uh, Emil is not uh, is not working today. So Zilly is going to be our helper and he's going to show how the little ones can go and do the microbit activity on the browser. Uh, it's actually quite fun for them to do it too. We are here in the browser in makecode.microbit.org. So you can go there and if you're watching this on YouTube, you can right click two times on the video and select picture in picture. <clears throat> so microbit is a uh, is a cool uh, little microcontroller, uh, but you can also do a lot of the coding in the browser without the hardware, and then you could, uh, you know, you could try it later. So this is what the microbit looks like, and we'll be doing the live demos when we get there. Otherwise, you can just tag along in the editor. All right, Zilly, we're going to be doing the flashing heart tutorial, which is the first tutorial in the microbit editor. And <clears throat> go ahead and click start tutorial. Now, what is the goal of this tutorial? Um, the goal is to make the heart flash. Oh, yeah, the goal is to make the heart flash. So let's do that. And as you can see, there's instructions here that you have to try to read. <coughs> do you know how to read? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Place the show LEDs block in the forever block and draw a heart. So you drag these blocks, and they're like just puzzle piece. Uh, and the blocks uh, are the code. They tell the computer what to do, and then you draw a heart. This is pretty hard. It's as really good as you want, small. which is kind of a sideways heart. It's really too <coughs> small for a heart. Yeah. Okay, that's that's how hard today. And small. one trick is that you can leave your button down, and then you can kind of Daddy, paint around. Whoops, I missed up your heart. Here we go. I'll restart it. Okay. Is that is that okay for a heart? Mm -hmm. So once you're ready with your step, you can click on the hint. She's a little head there. Make sure you got it right. It almost, our heart is not too bad. Next. And you can click on next. And then next will show you the next step in the tutorial, which in this case reads, place another show LEDs block. You can leave it blank or draw what you want. Now, are you sure you want it there? Because it's not blinking. Oh, and then, yeah, you put it under. That's good. Now, if Emily. you if you go and, you know, if you want to figure out what the computer is doing, and you can see that it's, it's blinking in the simulator. If you want to figure out what the computer is doing, go ahead and click on the slug button. And the slug button is right here under. And we call that the slow-mo button. And the slow-mo button runs the block very slowly and shows you which block is running by highlighting them in yellow. And as we can see, what's going on is that, let's see if we can zoom out a bit. This block called forever is a loop. And the blocks keep running in a loop one after the other. Daddy, you took that one again. Yeah, I messed it up. And you can see the yellow highlight, how it's going back to forever mm -hmm. and keeps doing that. And, as a, and then as a result, we see the blinking on the screen. All right, let's try to get that onto our micro bit. Mm, so download. So, so click on download. Then you right click. Right click oh. the other finger. Save link as. And now you're going to select the micro bit drive and you're going to click save. And when that happens, Zilli is quickly going to the other station. It starts to blink on the back of the micro bit. And that means it's transferring the program. And then you blink it, you flip it again, put it in the center of the table. There we go. And you can see that your program is now running on the micro bit. And it's going to stay there. It's going fast on the inside. Yeah, it's going to stay there. There's only one program on the micro bit, so the last one wins. And it stays there until you put a new one there. So that's how you get your program from make code into the micro bit. And there are instructions. And if you're, if 
it doesn't work for you, if you go back to the editor, there is a help page here. So if you got any problem, you know, click the help and there are detailed guides uh, on how to debug any kind of connectivity issue. So, Zilli, Did you do it? let's keep going. We're yes. step number three. Uh, okay. So we looked at the simulator and that looked pretty good. And let's click simulator. one more step. If you have a microbit connected, click download to transfer your code. And we did that. We already did that. So we can, we can exit out. Okay. Okay. And when you're done with your tutorial, you want to click the finish. finish button. And what it does, it actually puts the editor back into a full mode where you have all the options possible. Uh, but also you have an option that's called share. So if you look at, can you find the word share? It's in the top left. Higher, above the micro bit. Above the micro bit. No, here, share. Share. And that's a way to send the program to your parents mm -hmm. or to your friends. So you give it a name. Um, We're just going to keep flashing hard. And then you click the button Publish Project. And this is something you can do in all the make code editors. You click Share and you get this unique link that you can use to share with your parents or with your teacher. I've, I've copied the link here. And for example, if I, if I paste it now, it's going to open a page with my project. Mm -hmm. So this is a way to return an assignment or share the project or you and can show. Or video. All right. So that was a first tutorial. Now, can we change this program? Mm -hmm. Maybe add one more, more animations? How do we do that? It's gonna, we can put high at the start button. Oh, let's put high. Okay, so you can stack as many blocks as you want. And what does this uh, block do? It says high at the start. It says high. What else then, do you want to do? Then, uh, and there are many other options then, surely. As you can see, we have pre-built images. Oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. So we're going to zoom out a bit. And if you find yourself that you're running low on space, you can also collapse the simulator. And that is done by the gray button that's right next to the toolbox. So once Zilly's done drawing what well, looks like another heart. No, that's a square. I'm just drawing a square. A square. Perfect. Then you can also, if you see this button here, yeah. you can also collapse the editor and then you got way more space to work. And then when you're ready to co see your code, you can bring it back. Okay, and here we have plenty of options. So you can also pick from the existing uh, set of icons, and this is a set of icons that was contributed by uh, a very young user of the Microbit. So thank you, thank you for that. They're very cool. You need to pick one. And then I'm gonna say. This is a whole story. writing? Bye. Bye. B -Y -E. B -Y, -E. B y is in the middle. Bye. So to recap the program we did today, and this is a special kindergarten day for Macrobit. We've got a loop where we say hello. And then picture, picture, picture. And then we do picture, picture, picture. And then hi. I'm going to show that in slow-mo. We've got a hello going on. And then the code keeps running. Mm -hmm. And then we got our three images. And the fourth one. Icon. And then we're I back to saying them. bye. And then. and then we start again. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to show again one more time how to do download. Okay. So once it works in the simulator, and if you have a micro bit, you can click download, connect it, 
Make sure you connect it with a USB cable. Uh, the other button. You click download, you right click, you go to the micro bit and you click save. And now it's going to start blinking. That means it is transferring data to the micro bit. Once it's done blinking, it's going to restart. And you've got your animation that's going on. If you're wondering why, so if you look at the real micro bit, you won't see the, the flickering, but you're seeing it here. If you're wondering why, check out the videos we have about um, the micro bit hardware where we go into details about what's going on there. And that's on the home screen of the micro bit. Now, Zilli, how do we do another tutorial? We this out. So we X this out and we can click on home. And this is the one that we did. This is the one that we did and okay. we did five out of five steps so we're good to go. Okay. And we're going to scroll down and do, let's do smiley buttons. And this is how it works. You basically start, yeah, you read the story. There's also a video here, if you are interested, about learning how the buttons work. So if you're wondering how the buttons work, check out the video we have made here by Sean Heimel that explains everything about the physics of the button. So go ahead, they're pretty funny. They're, they're a good watch. All right. So what are we building? Uh, we're doing a um a spiraly button, and we're trying. We're gonna put this. Can you in. zoom in a bit? Because mm -hmm. it's very small. I'm gonna put this. So we're gonna draw a smiley. How we're gonna draw a smiley? Mm -hmm. Smiley face. You've done this already. Mm -hmm. So we've we've added the on button press and now. On that, so let's know. let's look at the next step. I think that's what they they're saying. But I didn't oh I yeah, don't. you're right. But I I saw. Oh, sideways, my a sideways smiley. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's put the smile. And now we're gonna do button B. Yes. Yeah, button B can be tricky. Let's try it. So we grab this one. That's an alright. And we select B in the drop down. Very good. Okay, now next. Okay. Oh, go back. I think we didn't do the no, previous step I'm completely. Alright. Yeah. yeah. The unsmiley. You can go back in your steps if you forgot. You can use the hint to make sure you've got the right format. But feel free to also change the images. They don't it doesn't have to be a smiley. What are we doing here? Uh, uh, unsmiley. A smiley. Uh, not a smiley. Oh yeah, this <laughs> looks good. <laughs> okay, A B. A B. A, All right, B. so we anything with A B. So we're grabbing the on button A press, and it's gonna look. Wait a second. See, it'll look disabled, like hash marked. Mm -hmm. Mia, how about you move the view here? Let's, mm -hmm. let's move it. And that means there's already an A that. There's already yeah, another event for A. There's another B. But there's another B. That's right. Let's see if there's A, B. So we don't have code that runs when A, B is pressed. A, B. A, B works. And I think they wanted to do an animation. And we've yeah, learned. Yeah, we can do one. We can do one. Uh, maybe with one with spring face. That's good. We're going to do, I'm going to do mine. Okay. Okay, that's fun. Kind of a sideways smiley. Yeah, it's kind of a sad smiley. <laughs> like, oh. All right, next. and let's try it. So if you yeah, click maybe, on next. Maybe it's next. Download. So if you have a micro bit, you can try to download it. But also before you have that, let's let's go back. Uh -huh. We can try to do it in the simulator. So let's go ahead and press the buttons in the simulator. So if you're in a browser, a, you can smiley, test your code. B. And there's a special uh, button for A, B. A, B. There we go. Let's see what that is. If you're wondering what the code is doing, make sure you use the slug. Our, mm -hmm. our good old friend, slow-mo. So if we click on A, we see that the A block got highlighted. And B. And A, B. And A, B. So 
that's how we understand which code is running. Download. The breakout code. Okay, let's do the download. So we click on download, right click on the green button, save the link as, and put it on the drive and click save. And now it is tra transferring. You can see it's blinking, so everything is good. You just have to wait. And once it's done, we can press A, then B, then AB. And that's our program. We're going to also show how to share Zilli one more time before finishing. So how do you share a program? <coughs> so we first... We have to finish this. Yeah, you have to finish the tutorial. There is no share in the middle of the tutorial, so you have to go and, Look up there. and click finish here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go on share. Share. And share. And then you have to click the other button. And that's it. You've share. got this beautiful little link that you can share with your teacher I or with your say friends. Hi. And you can go ahead and uh, see, it on the see it on another page, and you'll be able to either run the code or see the blocks, or even oh. go back in the editor by clicking edit code here. It'll take you into the editor. So you can, this is a very easy way to share a program. All right, Zilly. And I think this is going to conclude this video okay. on using the microbit. You did great today. This was the kindergarten special okay, that's of the microbit. Can you say bye? Bye.